Hello, hello everyone, my name is Laura and welcome to my channel, Laura's Little Library. Today I am doing my October bullet journal. Also, yes, I bought a candle. It is a cinnamon pumpkin muffin scent and I love it and I thought that lighting it would create the perfect fall atmosphere for this video. For my title page, I thought I'd keep it nice and simple and just kind of do a fun little October sketch with a broom and just a few little signs of Halloween. This bullet journal theme isn't exactly themed around anything specific other than little symbols of Halloween here and there. Most of these spreads I found versions of on Pinterest and created my own interpretation of them. I'm happy with how it turned out, although it be simple and easy to do. The first spread that I will be working on for this month is my monthly calendar, and I decided that this time I was going to make it span across two pages. That way the days are bigger and I can write more events and reminders within the month of October, especially because there are so many readathons and Halloween themed activities. I wanted to make sure I had enough space to write them all in and keep track of them. I am decorating it with, um, with spider webs in the corners as well as little candy corn decorations all throughout the page. I did also include a section for notes just in case I did run out of space or I had ideas that were not set in stone yet. I like how this spread turned out. It looks very clean and spooky and easy. Then I moved on to my TBR page and this is set up as if they were shelves on a wall with some spooky little artifacts to go with them. I made enough shelves, one for each week, and I put the number of books on that I'm planning to read for the week as what coincides with my spooky reading extravaganza feel free to check out any of my recent videos to understand what that is if you are new otherwise i will fill in my tbr with all the book shapes and i just thought so many of these like little potion bottles and the skull and everything was just going to be so cute to spookily decorate kind of like what a witch's shelves might look like Next to that page, I have my books read spread, and I like to have them back to back so that I can see what I wanted to read versus what I did read during the month. And this is supposed to be a witch's cauldron, brewing a potion, you know, boil, boil, toil, and trouble. I realized that some of the bubbles might be a little small for the titles of the books that I read, especially if I want to include the author. So what I've decided that I'm going to do is that I have lines on the cauldron so I can write down the books that I read on the base of the cauldron and then in some of those larger bubbles I can do my favorite books that I read throughout the month. Again, I'm pretty happy with how this spread turned out. I liked 
keeping the theme of the spooky colors, so the green and purple, a little bit of blue, um, and I thought it would look really nice next to the bookshelf, so it's all witches themed. Now I'm moving on to my rankings, and how I'm going to do my rankings this month is my favorite book per week, plus one other favorite that deserves a mention. And this is in the shape of a coffin, and I decided to add little wings on the coffin. Within the coffin are different phases of the moon, um, and each phase will represent how high up on the ranking it is, you know, full moon versus a crescent moon and all the way down and then because I felt the page was a little boring with just that I decided to add some adorable little Halloween images candles at the bottom bats ghosts even a ghost who found a witch's broom and decided to go on a little joy ride Next, I started on creating specific pages for certain readathons. So at the moment, I wrote three different pages for three different readathons. The layouts look very similar across all three, only slightly specialized per readathon. So for example, the first one, the Scaredy Cat readathon, is the entire month of October. So I wrote down all of the prompts and I have a little space for my TBR as well as keeping track of how to stay in touch with the readathon so they have a discord. And I did this with other readathons. I even left two empty pages for two more readathons that may or may not happen during October that I want to participate in. One of those I have already filled out after this video. Then as you can see I moved on to creating little potion bottles at the top of each page and each one has a different social media. These are just areas for me to write down my thoughts and ideas for all of my different bookish themed online activities. So a place for my YouTube video ideas and Instagram, TikTok, anything and everything that I do that is bookish just to have a place to have all of my ideas down. I wanted to keep these spreads nice and simple so that I could have plenty of space to write down all of my ideas. Once I finished the last one of those, I created through a very similar style, but this time it is a pumpkin with candles that just says reviews, and this is where I am going to start writing all of the reviews for all of the books that I have read. So here is a flip through of the finished spread for this month. I'm really happy with how pretty much every page turned out. I think this is probably the best spread I've done, even though I've only done three. I think that the vibes and the aesthetic are there and it's a little more artsy than what I'm used to, but at the same time, I didn't have to draw too much. I'm really excited with how all of the readathon pages turned out and I'm really excited to participate in those. Again, two empty pages for possible readathons to pop up later in October. And all of my brainstorm ideas. The last brainstorm is called Final, and it's just anything that I want to keep track of that doesn't fit in any of the categories. And as I said, after that, I have blank pages just for the reviews of books. As you can see, I've already started writing down one review. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you have a theme for your bullet journal, and make sure you subscribe as I release videos twice a week. And I would love to see you guys again. Until then, happy spooky reading.